Next stop, an awareness journey aboard Line 1. From Academia to Gio. Passing under the Academia Bridge, you will realize the intricate work of wooden beams that support it. This structure, designed and installed in 1933 in just 37 days to urgently and temporarily restore the previous one that showed serious signs of wares, became permanent. At the time of its inauguration, it was the largest wooden arch bridge in Europe. Between 2016 and 18, the bridge underwent a radical restoration, maintaining the iron structure but completely restoring the wooden part. At the foot of the bridge, we can see Palazzo Franchetti, with its wonderful interiors, which hosts temporary exhibitions, while on the other side, Palazzo Contarini Polignac and the adjoining garden of important dimensions are proudly displayed. Just after, you notice the building with a facade wonderfully covered with mosaics, which makes it unique in its kind. It is Palazzo Barbarigo, and the largest scenes represent the Holy Roman Emperor Charles V in the workshop of Titian, and on the right, Henry III of France, accompanied by Doge Alvise Montenegro, visiting a Murano glass workshop. After a few moments, you begin to see the lowest building of the canal, but destined to be the largest. Unfortunately, the problems of stability of the foundations stop the work at the height of the first floor. This is Palazzo Venier de Leoni, famous for having been for 30 years the residence of Peggy Guggenheim, who collected works by surrealist artists of whom she was patron. In this house museum, her spirit and soul are still present. Peggy and her dogs rest in the garden. A couple of buildings after, we see a beautiful palace with polychrome marbles. It is Ca Dario, famous for being a cursed building. In fact, it seems that all the owners have fallen into disgrace or victims or violent deaths, but history has proved that for those who had adverse fates, others lived happily ever after. Nearby, it is certainly worth visiting the Venice Opera House that bears the prophetic name of a Fenice, Phoenix, and that presents itself in all its splendor after the terrible fire of 1997 that completely destroyed it. Next stop, Salute!